what's this? Oh, the receipt's in here. Girl, $41? to my channel and if you are new what's up what's good with you my name is shani so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys the stuff that i've been accumulating over the past three months for my apartment just so you guys can see where i got some stuff from if you guys were interested so majority of the stuff is from target <laughs> i also got some stuff from ikea um bed bath and beyond and macy's so if you guys are interested in this haul let's just go ahead and get right into this video all right so i'm going to start with target first because the majority of their stuff is like right in front of me and i just really like target so might as well just start off with target this is from target <laughs> let me just get that out of the way because it's like in the frame these pillows are from Target as well, but these pillows aren't a part of this video at all. I just needed something else in the frame instead of y'all looking at me in a wall. So I just put these right here to like fill up the space. Anyways, moving on. I got this plant from Target and I got it for my bathroom because I don't know. I felt like I needed some greenery in my bathroom. Um, so I picked this up from Target. If you guys watch my bathroom decorating my bathroom on a budget or going shopping for my bathroom on a budget i don't remember the title of the vlog but i said something about a grass plant and this is what i was talking about but i decided not to put it on my toilet i just put it on my countertops and i think it looks really really cute there um it just adds a little bit of flavor to my bathroom so yeah i got this and it was twenty dollars i did try to like bend them because I don't like them like standing straight up um, and I did kind of like mess up some of the grass thingies because <laughs> I used the blow dryer to kind of like bend it but they're not bending so hopefully it starts to like you know bend outward because it just looks weird standing straight up like this so yeah got that plant I'm just gonna put it right back there all right moving on to the bags so let me start with this one I got these greener clean plain sponges I don't know I just thought they were really cute I like how plain they look so I picked these up from Target and then <laughs> I got these non-scratch scotch pads. I thought they were really cute, very eco-friendly, um, and they look nice. So I picked these up for the kitchen to wash dishes, and then I picked up some Mr. Clean erasers because during the summer, my niece and my nephews marked on my walls. So yeah, had to get some of these. <coughs> And then I've already been using this, kind of, sort of. Um, I saw it in Target and I was like, huh, I need something to like clean my toilet. Like stuff that I didn't think I needed, I need it. So I picked this up because I don't have like a little brush thingy to clean my toilet. So I saw this in Target and I was like, hmm, let me try it. And I don't really like it. The little cloth thingies fall off when I'm trying to clean the toilet. And it's just like really inconvenient. So. I think I'm gonna end up getting an actual brush to clean the toilet but yeah that's what I got for now and then I picked up some Raid specifically the spider and Scorpio spray a little backstory on these so one day there was I think there was like a big water bug in my house I'm not sure but I know there was a big bug in my house and I was terrified I, I don't like bugs so these are a must okay and i actually need to buy some more they have to be wherever i'm living wherever i'm staying they have to be nearby so that's why i need to buy some more two is not enough i need one for my room i need one for my bathroom one for the kitchen one for on the other side of the house i just need them everywhere okay okay and then i bought some glass cleaner because Everybody needs glass cleaner. I can't be taking pictures on a dirty glass. The next thing I got is the screwdriver set. It's an eight in one. And I bought this because for one, I don't have any like screwdrivers. How do I open this? 
I don't have any screwdrivers and I actually think I need to go back because I need like an automatic screwdriver when it comes to like putting together furniture. But it comes with one head and then like all of these little things and you just hook it onto that and it's just like this is what you need to do. But I bought these because um, y'all know I have my niece and nephew during the summer and they kept locking my door and I didn't have anything to open the door so the apartment people told me to get like a screwdriver and open the door and I was like okay so I just went to Target and bought this so that's why I have that it definitely came in handy and then this is some vase filler I just really like how it looked I'm probably going to do exactly what this picture is doing um, I just don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Either I'm going to put it in the bookshelf, the table, or um, the little console table that you put in the middle of the living room. That's what I'm thinking about doing with this. But I just thought it would be nice to have, you know, some greenery in the house. So, yeah, got that. And then I picked up this electric stainless steel. Um, it's like a salt and pepper shaker, but it's electric. And I thought it was really cool. I got this a while ago before I even moved into this apartment. Before I even knew I was moving, I bought this because I was buying it for my apartment that I was supposed to get next year, but it just ended up being this year. If you guys watch my apartment tour, y'all know that I wasn't planning on moving this year. So I was just buying this for like my future, future apartment, not thinking that I was going to move at the time that I moved. But anyways. That's besides the point. I bought some electric salt and pepper shakers, and I know y'all probably like that's kind of extra, but I really, really wanted them. And then I got this cute cookie jar because I'm really extra, and I thought it would be really cute. I actually have the other one in the kitchen already with cookies in it, but I wanted another one. I kind of want a taller one, but I don't eat cookies like that. I honestly just bought it because I thought it would be cute. And I know my niece and nephews will eat the cookies, so I just bought them for decor purposes. But the cookies are going to be eaten by my niece and nephews. I just want to like decorate it and make it look really cute. So that's why I got this cookie jar and the other one is already in use, so yeah. Alright, moving on to this. This is a glass mixing bowl set and um i just thought it would go really cute with my decor and when i'm cooking it would be really cute having the little tiny glass jars and then putting my little measurements in there but this is how it looks they're just glass mixing bowls and it comes with 10 pieces in this and I just thought it would be really cute, especially when I'm vlogging or cooking, period. I just like everything to look nice. So I was like, let me get some glass, you know, mixing bowls. And then I also bought some glasses because they're cute and they're very simple and they're very aesthetically pleasing. Like, look, isn't this so cute? Like when I'm making, you know, drinks, or if I'm making coffee, if I just want to drink water, if I want to Instagram it and put it on my story, they're just really cute. So, yeah, and they were pretty affordable. So, yeah, I got that from Target as well. And it also comes with taller glasses. Um, yeah, so it comes with six small glasses like I showed y'all. And then it comes with um, six taller glasses. I'm pretty sure if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen these glasses. So, yeah. I got those. Super cute. And then I got these Rubbermaid um, Tupperware cases. They're leak-proof. They say it comes with ten pieces, but I feel like it's just five. If you're counting the tops... It's a 10 piece set, but in my mind, it's five. So yeah, I bought these and I also bought another one because I needed more Tupperwares, especially when I'm cooking, when mom is cooking, I just don't like the pots being in the refrigerator. So yeah, I bought those because they just come in handy and it looks nice. So yeah. <laughs> All right, so I got some new towels. 
I know if you watched my previous vlogs, y'all saw that I got gray towels, but I was thinking I wanted a different color towel in my bathroom just to make it look like nice and airy and real simple, clean and to the point. I don't know. I just wanted green towels, so <laughs> I got some green towels and rags. Isn't this color so pretty? I just want my whole apartment to be a vibe. I want it to be clean, crisp, real modern, simple, you know. So I got these. I thought they were really cute, you know. And they weren't that expensive at all. These towels were... Okay, the price is not on them, but I promise y'all it wasn't that expensive because if it was, I wouldn't have got a whole bunch of them. So, actually, I think these were eight dollars. I think the wash towels were like four dollars, something like that. So, yeah, really good deal. Well, in my opinion, I think they were a really good deal. So, yeah, I got these. And I also got some, what are these? These are hand towels. So, yeah aren't these like y'all are these so cute i'm so obsessed another thing for the kitchen slash fridge i bought this bottle because i want to start making juices um so i thought this would look cute in the refrigerator so i got that um i only bought one because i wasn't sure if i was gonna like it because this little thing was like kind of throwing me off like i didn't understand it it doesn't go all the way in the bottle but they look cute. Um, this wasn't too pricey at all. I don't, how much was this? Y'all, I don't know how much this was, but it wasn't, it wasn't that expensive. So, yeah. Everything will be linked down below. If you're interested in anything that I, you know, put in this haul or have in this haul, I just don't remember the prices off the top of my head. Okay? Okay. And then I bought this because I felt like this would be really cute to go in the bookshelf and this has a price on it. Okay, so it was originally $20 and I got it for $10.24. I don't know. I just thought it would be really cute to go in the bookshelf. I don't know if y'all can tell my aesthetic or my vibe, the theme, but I just want everything to look clean, crisp, simple. I do want to throw in some wood color. So I bought that to kind of like tie in the wood. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure out something to do with them. So they're there for decor. And then I bought a broom. <laughs> now I already have a room, but I wanted something that looks really nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm annoying. But I just wanted something that, I wanted everything to look cohesive in my apartment. I wanted everything to look like I took my time and energy to design everything together. So I bought a new broom. Um, and from Ikea, I bought these little things to put in my drawer to make sure my drawer stays nice and clean and organized. So yeah, I bought these. I don't really know what they're called, but they're drawer organizers for like your top drawer, for your bras, underwear, miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, I thought these were really good for the drawer so I got that for my dressers where am I about to put this and then for the top part of my dresser uh, I bought these so the top of the dresser doesn't get ruined and I bought these a while ago when I was planning on redecorating my room that's what these were for so yeah I just thought I'd show you guys because when I was watching somebody else's vlog i was trying to figure out where they got the little slab of clear stuff to go on top of their dresser to protect their dresser and they didn't really say it. so when i saw it at ikea i was like oh my gosh so nice i need them so yeah Woo. i thought this was going to be a quick haul but it definitely isn't All right, so the last thing that I got from Target is these hangers because I was walking through Target and I was looking for hangers because I was running out of, actually I didn't have any more hangers 
in my closet and I needed more hangers. So I was walking through Target and I was like, dang, I need some hangers, but I don't want the 50 pack of hangers. Came across this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is what I need. So this is a 100 pack hanger for my closet. Um, they're non-slip and they're a space saver hanger. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all know what these look like. I think this was like $50 if I'm not mistaken. And I thought it was just like a really good deal. So yeah, bought those for my closet that I have yet to organize. I just don't have the energy to um, declutter my closet. But when I do have the energy and the mental capacity to redo my closet, y'all will be the first to know. <laughs> Maybe not the first. Instagram will probably be the first time. No, I'll probably just wait and just like keep it to myself. But when I do redo my closet, I will film it for y'all, okay? Okay. Let's move that out of the way. Alright, so the next thing is seasonings that I got from my seasoning drawer. I just really like filling up my seasoning drawer with seasonings. And I came across this black owned business because I follow, um, I guess her friend on Instagram and she posted about it and I was like, oh, her seasonings look so cute. So yeah, I purchased them and I'm super excited. I'm so excited. Oh, are these? Oh wow, easy chicken tacos for taco night. Wow, she gave me recipes. Wow, y'all, I am definitely going to be using this. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, this one is Magic City Hot Lemon Pepper. Oh, wow. So she gave us um, recipes to go along with the seasoning. That is dope. And this is steak night. I don't really cook a lot of steak at all. Well, actually, I don't cook steak at all, but... Um, I guess I'm gonna buy some steak so I can try this out. <laughs> but yeah, I got some new recipes to try. I'm excited. I'm low key a cook, y'all. I'm a chef. Like, if you follow me on Instagram, you'd be seeing my food. I know it'd be looking good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, look. <gasps> oh, I just dropped my coffee. I knew that was gonna happen. I told myself. You're gonna drop that if you put it on the floor. I literally was thinking that as I was walking over here drinking it. Something told me to put it on the window still. But no. You wanted to put it on the floor for easy access. Okay, back to the seasonings. <laughs> but look y'all, aren't these so cute? I feel like my lights are washing them out. I like how simple the design is. It's white, it's clean. I love it. Taco night, ooh, taco night. I'm excited. I got me some new recipes to try and I got me some new seasonings to put in my drawer. Editing Shani will make sure to link everything in the description box okay 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 moving on to the stuff that i got from macy's and oh i think i got that from home depot anyways let's start with this so i got a knife set because i needed a knife set and i thought this would look really cute on the countertop it comes with 15 pieces it comes with scissors a steak knife um i'm not about to read all of this but it comes with a whole bunch of knives and it comes with a knife sharpener, which I really, really wanted just because of the aesthetic, how it looks. So yeah, those are all the knives that come in this set. And I'm really excited for it. Yes. I'm about to make something that looks like this. This is cute. And I'm not sure how much it was, but this is from Macy's. And I know they were having a sale, which is why I bought a lot of this stuff. How much was this? Oh, the receipts in here. Girl, $41? For some knives? I don't remember paying that much. I should have just got the knife set that I actually wanted, which 
is like the clear my set holder it just looks really modern okay i'm not going to take this out because it's just not coming out so that's the knife set that i got got it from macy's but i'll link the actual knife set that i originally wanted the only reason why i didn't get that knife set is because i didn't want my niece and nephews to be tempted to touch the knives so that's why i didn't get them i really wanted them and they were less expensive than this i think that set was twenty dollars and it just looks really, really nice i just didn't want my niece and nephews to be tempted to play with it so i just bought you know a regular regular nice set you know and then i got this wine opener cork opener wine opener <laughs> from cuisinart because it looks really nice and i thought it would look cute in between my um electric salt and pepper so yeah i just thought it was cute i really wanted it so i was like go ahead shani treat yourself oh this is bigger than i thought it was gonna be <laughs> this is how it looks i didn't expect it to be this big dreamed about getting but didn't have so now that i'm like actually buying stuff for my apartment and it's actually what i want um it's just it's a different feeling wait this is plastic i thought it was gonna be like stainless steel it's okay how much was this though i did make a budget for myself so don't be thinking i'm just out here balling out and I'm just rolling in money because I'm definitely not at all, at all, at all. But yeah. All right. So the next thing I got from ow, <laughs> the next thing I got from Macy's is this 12-piece square plate set, and it comes with bowls. I like how they look, so I bought them. They were on sale. I think they were originally a hundred dollars but i know i didn't want to buy plates that break easily um i just wanted to invest in quality pieces that i know i can move from apartment to apartment or apartment to house because that's what i'm shooting for i want to buy a house because after this move i just don't want to move again like the move was just i don't want to do it again so um i wanted to make sure i invested my money into stuff that will last me for a long time so that's why i spent like extra money on certain things um so yeah bought these i thought they were really cute all right and then this right here is the breville juicer i'm trying to do better when it comes to eating and i do want to start juicing so i bought this juicer from breville and Body by Neeks said that this was a good juicer to get, so I purchased it. I did save up for it because this it was expensive. So, yeah, I'm glad that I have it though because I didn't think I was going to be able to get it. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Sometimes I feel like if it's like expensive or it looks too nice that I can't get it, but I got it. So yeah, I'm excited to start using it. Um, I know my mom is excited to start using it because she's been saying that she wants a juicer and she's been wanting the Vitamix or whatever it is. If you look, just look up Vitamix and that will just tell you everything you need to know and that will tell you why I don't have a Vitamix yet because um, she's going to have to wait. Like that Vi I think that blender is like $300, $400 and I'm just like for a blender? Sweetie, no. <laughs> all right so yeah i got that juicer and y'all are definitely going to be seeing it on my instagram when i wake up in the morning and start doing my little juices my oranges and apples and stuff like that yeah i'm excited to use it so <laughs> but 
got that. And then the last thing that I got is from Cuisinart. I can't remember where I purchased this from. I think I purchased it off of Home Depot. I'm not sure, or maybe Walmart. Y'all, I can't remember where I got this from, but I know it was sold out on, y'all, I cannot remember. I feel like it was sold out on Home Depot because that's where I saw it. But then maybe it came back into stock, I don't know. But I bought this fruit processor mainly for my mother because she is kind of in the process of trying to go vegan. I mean, we don't eat a lot of meat, but we still eat cheese. Like, I still eat cheese. I love cheese. I love eggs. I know it's, it's bad for me. I know. But yeah, I'm trying to do better when it comes to my eating and cheese. Um, like in the process of trying to go vegan so yeah I got this food processor body by needs uses this as well I'm just really excited to use this stuff it chops stuff it slices stuff you can like mix up dough in this thing oh it also comes with a spatula yes because I didn't think it came with this little spatula so yes yeah, easy to clean perfect size I'm so excited to start using this so yeah y'all that is about it i think that's everything that i got all right you guys so that is everything that i have to show you guys in this haul i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i really enjoyed filming it for you guys i'm really excited to start opening and using all of this stuff i did notice that i haven't ordered my pots and pans set from amazon but that's probably going to be in an amazon video if y'all want that um i kind of do want to do an amazon video because i got some little bits and bobs from amazon it's not going to be like a home decor amazon video but it's going to be like an amazon video i don't know if y'all are interested let me know and i'll definitely do that video for y'all but i need to order my pots and pans set because i don't really have a pots actually i don't have a pots and pan set so i need to order one then i just now noticed because i'm looking at all this cuisinart stuff that i never ordered my toaster from cuisinart so i'm probably going to go order that um i don't know if i'm going to do the four slot toaster or the two slot toaster it's not just me living here so i probably might get the four slot toaster i'm not sure i'll probably let y'all know when i do get it and that's pretty much everything i really hope you guys like this video um everything is just now starting to come in and i've been in this apartment for like three months so if you're in your apartment and you don't have any furniture or anything like that don't feel bad because it definitely takes some time to get this stuff in your in your place especially if you didn't save for it or especially if you're going through what i'm going through the whole pandemic thing everything is taking forever to come um yeah don't feel bad like if you're in your apartment with no furniture you're good it's okay if as long as you have a bed to lay on you're good okay but yeah that is everything i have to show you guys in this video i really hope you guys liked it if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up comment down below and also subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video